مشاهدينا الأعزاء أبناء الطلاب والطالبات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله في الحلقة الأولى من مراجعة منهج اللغة الإنجليزية للصف الثالث ثانوي نظام المقررات نحييكم بأجمل العبارات وندعو لكم في هذه الأيام بالتوفيق والنجاح خلال فترة الاختبارات والتي باتت تطرق الأبواب ومن خلال برنامجنا مئة على مئة نقدم لكم العديد من الأسئلة مع التعرف على طريقة الإجابة الصحيحة عليها لتتمكن عزيزي الطالب عزيزة الطالبة من الإجابة على أسئلة الامتحان بكل يسر وسهولة نذكركم أعزائي الطلاب بأننا نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم على هاشتاج البرنامج مئة على مئة فاصل قصير وسنبدا باذن الله تعالى معكم اولى الاسئله اعزائي المشاهدين اعزائي طلاب وطالبات الصف الثالث الثانوي اهلا بكم من جديد دعونا نذكركم باننا نراجع واياكم منهج اللغة الإنجليزية وسنركز في هذا الجزء على المفردات والقواعد فيما يتعلق بالمعدود وغير المعدود للباب الأول ونذكركم بأننا نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم على هاشتاج البرنامج مئة على مئة والآن نبدأ على بركة الله السؤال الأول The first question is related to vocabulary سؤال أول له علاقة بالvocabulary okay? Choose the correct option to complete the sentence Multiple choice. مطلوب منك تختار الإجابة الصحيحة. To answer this kind of a question, you have to understand the, uh, the sentence and you have to know the meaning of the options. Number one. I was hoping the sunny weather would last, but unfortunately it was only A. Obligatory B. Complementary C. Temporary D. Confined What does the sentence say here? He was hoping the sunny weather would last. He hoped that the sunny weather would last. Last here means stay for long, for a long time. But, but, something unexpected happened, something that he didn't like happen. Unfortunately, it was only, يعني كانت فقط, A, obligatory. What does obligatory mean? Obligatory means uh, compulsory. A mandatory, something uh, you should do. Yani ilzami. Does it relate? Does it relate uh, to the sentence? No. The sentence is talking about the weather, and he hoped the weather would last, but it didn't. So the answer should be: it stayed for a short time. B. Complementary. Complementary means free of charge, or optional. خياري أو غير إلزامي. برضو الكلمة هذه doesn't relate to the sentence ما لها أي علاقة بالجملة C. Temporary Temporary means uh, for a short time When I say I'm staying here temporary for a short time, not for long It is the opposite of last here The opposite of last, temporary So temporary should be the correct answer D means confined Confined small or small space or small area doesn't relate. So the answer should be uh, temporary because temporary related and the opposite of related to the sentence and is opposite for the word last. Let's move to the sentence two. Sentence two says, the hotel organized guided tours around the city as well as to nearby villages. A, excursions. B, voyages. C, flights. D, cruises. The hotel organized uh, for, the, for the customers, organized journeys. One of them is a city tour, and the other one is a journey to a nearby village. So when we talk about city, when we talk about a city journey, it's called city tour. But the other one, as well as, also, another journey, journey is organized by the hotel. Which kind of the journey? Excursion, voyage, flight, cruises are all different type of journeys. But which one is the correct one? We have to look at the word village. A journey to village. يعني رحلة إلى القرى القريبة. Let's see the meaning of these words. 
A excursions means a short journey for a short distance uh, par for a particular group of people. يعني رحلة قصيرة لمجموعة من الناس. B voyages. Voyages means a uh, sea trip or sea journey, uh, long journey by a sea. Flights. Flights means a journey by plane. يعني رحلة بالطائرة. D cruises. Cruises a journey by sea, but for pleasure purposes. هي رحلة بحرية زي زي voyage. Voyage and cruises have the same meaning, journey by sea, but voyage for a long trip, long journey, usually by boat, cruises usually for holidays, uh, pleasure, for a luxury, okay? But here, what is the answer? The answer is, uh, should be related to a village. When I say voyage, I'm talking about sea, flights, I'm talking about planes, cruises, I'm talking about sea also. So the correct answer should be, Excursion. Excursion should be the correct answer because it's a short trip to the nearby villages. Let's move to number three. Sentence number three. As we were driving through the town, we saw a something built in memory of one uh, of the country's most famous philosophers. This is a long sentence. It has a time clause. Two, it has two clauses. The first one is a time clause because it started with as, okay? And the second sentence is the main clause. Okay, what happened in that time clause? The verb here is was driving, aware driving, which is a past progressive, long action interrupted by a short action. And in the short action, we use past tense. We were, as we were driving through the town, we saw something, we saw something, something interrupted, uh, long action. What did he see? Uh, what did they see? Something built in memory. يعني in memory of one of the country's most famous philosophers. Okay, في ذكرى أحد الفلاسفة الدول. Let's see the words here, the options. A. Lunch. B. Site. C. Mosque. D. Monument. What should we choose? What is the correct answer for this sentence? I understand the sentence. I know, I have to know the meaning of these words. Lounge mean is a public room or a place to relax. Okay, I have to ask my, myself, does this word relate to our sentence? No. The second word, site. Site means a place or an area. Does this word relate to the sentence? No. I didn't see a lunch while I was driving home. I didn't see a site. See, mosque. Mosque is a building where Muslim worship or praise. Little masjid. Did I see a mosque built in memory? The word here, built, so it's, it should be a building, in memory. To remind us of one uh, something famous, which is famous philosopher. So this building should be a reminder for something famous in the country, which is Monument. The answer is monument. Monument mean a statue or building that remind us of someone or something very famous. اللي هو المعلم أو التمثال. Let's move to number four. Summers in Cincinnati are always okay. Summers we are talking about the season: summer, winter, fall, spring. Summers in Cincinnati is a city. Are always. Talks diamond في Cincinnati summers. The كلمان talks in the city. So are always. The option here, the answer should be something related to the weather. Okay. Let's see the options here. A. Grateful. B. Dormant. C. Humid. D. Coastal. The word grateful mean when I am grateful to someone, I have the feeling that I have to thank him. I am so grateful. يعني ممتنلك. Doesn't relate to the weather. ما لها أي علاقة بالطقس. B. Dormant. Dormant means not active. خامل. غير نشط. I usually use it with volcano. Dormant volcano. يعني بركان خامد. So it is not the answer. C. Humid. When I say the word humid, I am describing the weather. When the air is warm and damp, is it's a humid. So humid is related to the weather. Summers in Cincinnati are always humid. So 
So the answer is C. The coastal, what does coastal mean? When I'm talking about something near to the coast. Coastal city, Mantika Sahiliya, Qariba Minas Sahil. Okay. Let's move to number five. As the art festival space to be a huge success, the town council decided to hold another one the following year. This is a sentence divided into two clauses. The first clause started with as, which means because, okay, the art festival, and the verb here missing. So we have to choose the word, which is a verb. The art festival to be a huge success, okay, to become successful. That's why the second, because the second clause here, the town council, the, 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 the council of the city, decided to hold to uh, organize another one the following year. Why did he decide to organize, to hold another one? Because it became, fest the festival became successful. So I, am, I'm, I'm, I need a word that somehow means became, okay? Let's see the options. A, turned out. B, stood out. <clears throat> one. C, made up. D, picked up. All these options are in the past because the verb decided. So this is an indicator decided in the past. So the, all the options must be in the past. What, does, uh, uh, what do these words mean? Turned out, when I say something turned out, means happen in a particular way. Happen in a good way, in a bad way, in a particular way. Okay? B, stood out. When something stand out, mean it's easy to be noticed. Yes, uh, ملاحظته أو تمييزه. C, made up, which is the base form make up. When I make up something, I form, I create, يخلق أو هكذا. D, picked up. When I picked up from something, pick up something, uh, get something from the ground. يعني يلتقط شيء من الأرض. So which one is the close? I think the answer should be A, turned out. The art festival happened in particular way is to be a successful. يعني حدث أو أصبح ناجحا. Let's move to number six. I thought my brother would take my side, but instead he remained throughout my argument with Hashem. A. Overwhelming. B. Neutral. C. Thrilled. D. Remote. Let's understand, let's understand, dear students, the, uh, the sentence. I thought my brother, so thought here in the past, my brother would take my side. I am, I am having an argument with someone, and I thought my brother would be in my side. But, okay, when I see the word but instead, that means he wasn't. He didn't stay my side. The result is the opposite of this. He remained, he remained throughout my argument with Hashem. See, when you have an argument with someone, he supposed, he expected his brother to be in his side, but something opposite happened. What is the opposite? Is it with Hashem's side or something else? Let's see the words. Overwhelming, when I say I am overwhelming, overwhelming means strong feeling, okay? And it must, doesn't relate to the sentence, so it's not A. B, neutral. Neutral, when you, ha when you take a neutral uh, position, you are not with me, you are not against me. You are in between, okay? You are not involved in this argument. You are not with me, you are not against me. لِمَعْنَهَا مُحَايِدْ وَهِيَ الْإِجَابَ الصحيحة. Neutral. Thrilled, thrilled means happy, excited, and doesn't relate to the sentence. We understand the sentence. Now, I know. معنى الجملة فلازم نعرف المعاني الكلمات وش اللي لها علاقة بها. D remote remote means far away far away and it's not it doesn't it's not related to the sentence. So the answer is neutral. اللي هو not with me not in my side not in Hashim's side he is neutral محايد. <coughs> Let's move to uh, number seven. Okay, 
Don had to overcome many obstacles, but in the end, he his goals. A. Succeeded. B. Accomplished. C. Managed. D. Arrived. Okay, what does the sentence mean? The sentence says, Don had overcome. Overcome many obstacles. Overcomes means passes. Okay, he had obstacles, he had problems, but these problems are no longer exist. Done. But in the end, in the end, after he passes his problem, he overcome his obstacle, he succeeded his goals, accomplished his goals, managed his goals, arrived. Usually, they have, somehow they have the same meaning, but some words, some prepositions are missing. When I say succeed something, I did it in the right way. But, يعني نجح, but I need succeeded, needs in. But what comes after the, the space is his goals. This is a noun. This is a noun. Okay. When I have to choose succeeded, it must be followed by n, okay? And there is no n. Accomplish, when you accomplish something, that you achieve it. When you achieve something, يعني نجحت أو أنجزت. And it's followed by noun. يأتي بعدها اسم. وهو الإجابة الصحيحة. Managed, I can't say managed. I can't say managed. Managed means control. But when I say managed to do something, I managed to do something, it should be followed by the preposition to, to give us the meaning, he achieved, he accomplished. But the word here is his goal. There is no to. So I cannot use managed. Arrived, when you arrived, when you get, when you are going to. Arrived where? So it's not the correct answer. The correct answer should be accomplished. Sentence eight. I don't think we can afford expensive accommodation right now the best choice would be a room in, okay? Uh, this, uh, this guy or this person thinks he cannot afford expensive accommodation. He needs accommodation. He needs a place to stay, but he is in a low budget. He doesn't have enough money to, uh, to afford uh, expensive. So here we have to underline the word, I don't think afford expensive accommodation okay so what is he looking for is a cheap accommodation a cheap place to stay in the best choice would be a room in okay these four options uh, one of them should mean a low budget accommodation let's see cottage cottage mean a small house in a countryside b Suite. Suite is a set of rooms in a hotel which is usually, which are usually expensive. So this is not an answer because he's looking for something inexpensive, cheap. C. Hustle. Hustle usually it comes with youth hustle. What is hustle? Hustle is a building or accommodation where you can stay cheaply. And this is the answer because he's looking for something not expensive. Resort, resort means uh, big hotels with a lot of facilities and a place where people spend holiday in. Uh, so the answer is hustle. Why did we choose hustle? Because hustle means low budget accommodation and with that, what is he looking for? He cannot afford something expensive. Uh, I think we have finished this section. Let's move to another section, which is uh, something. Let's talk grammar. Choose the correct option to complete the sentence. This is exercise B. One, I don't think we have much or many time left before the shop, shops close. Okay, we have two options here. What option is the correct and why did I choose it? I have much, many. What is the difference between much and many? Much comes with uncountable noun and many comes with countable noun. Much لغير المعدود ومني للمعدود. So, what comes after this word? 
I have to look at this word, time. Time, is it countable or uncountable? As we know, time is uncountable. So the answer should be much. I don't think we have much time. ليس لدي وقت. وقت غير معدود. لا أستطيع أن أقول لدي وقت أو وقتان. Time is uncountable. So I have to choose much before the shops close. Let's move to number two. If you need any advice, advices on how to choose the right color, I will be more than happy to help you. I have two options. Is it advice or advices? What is, what is the correct option and why did I choose it? As we know, as we know, advice is an uncountable noun, so it cannot be uh, used in a plural form. هي غير معدود ولا نستطيع استخدامه في صيغة الجمع فبالتالي the, uh, the answer should be advice if you need any advice إذا تحتاج أي نصيحة on how to choose the right color I will be more than happy to help you let's move to number three after their holiday in India they looked forward to sharing their many exciting experiences experience with their friends I have two options and they are confusing, experiences and experience. As we learned, as we know, as far as we know that experience usually is an uncountable noun. But I have to differentiate between the word if it's, there is an option, there is an exception. There is an exception for the word experience. After their holiday in India, okay, they looked forward to sharing their many exciting, he explained, he described, the noun here, experiences or experience, by exciting, okay, with their friends. What is the difference? Experience, if it comes, um, if it means knowledge or skill, either it is uncountable. But this is not the word here. Exciting experiences, experiences when, when something happens, when something that happens, هنا تأتي uncountable اللي هي عفوا countable اللي هي experiences why did we choose experiences because experiences something that happened in plural something that happened in the past let's move to number four I called him lots of time times but he wasn't home if we go back to number one, there was much, many time. We choose much because we said time is uncountable, but there is an exception. What is the difference between the difference between time and times? Time, when we talk about abstract noun, time, الوقت, uncountable. But here doesn't mean time as we know, الوقت. It means one time, two times, three times. I called him lots of times, but he wasn't home. For example, I called you three times. I called you four times. So times here is countable. We can use it as a plural. So the answer is times because here something countable. One uh, action, two action, three times, four times. Okay, let's move to number five. Does this position require any previous work, experiences, or experience? Also the same word, experience. Is it countable, uncountable? It has both meaning, but it depends on the context. Here he is asking question, does this position, he is uh, applying for the position in a job. Okay, the position in a job or in a career. Does it require any previous knowledge, previous skills, so the answer here should be experience, because experience means knowledge, or skill. Okay, let's move to number six. Number six, the sentence six, I had such a lot of luggage or luggage when I was returning from Kuwait that I had to pay extra at the airport. Okay, well, luggage, the, uh, the things or stops that you carry with you when you are traveling, okay, and it has no option. Luggage is an uncountable noun. We cannot use it. We cannot use it, dear student. We cannot use the word luggage in a plural form. So, dear student, the correct answer is luggage because it is uncountable now. Okay, let's move to number seven. 
Luke forget to switch off all the light lights before leaving the house. Also, we still, dear student, talking about countable or uncountable nouns. And what are the difference between them? Look, forget to switch off. Switch off means turn off. Okay? The light or the light before leaving the house. Okay? So we're talking about something in the house. What is the difference here? The word light, if we are talking about natural light, for the, from the sun, from the moon, it is a phenomenal uh, thing, phenomenal noun. It, this thing is uncountable. When we talk about the light, it's a light that is not light. But does this, what we need in this sentence, is this what we need in this sentence? He's talking about switch off, turning off, and in the house. The lights can be in the plural form when it refers to the electricity. Electric lights, electric lamp, lambat lights. The answer lights. Why? Because uh, we are talking about electric electricity, electric light, lamp, etc. And number eight, the sentence eight says, their beautiful wooden furniture furnitures or furniture must have cost a fortune. The word furniture or furniture, what is the correct answer? If I know that the word furniture cannot be in a plural noun, so it is uncountable, I choose the word furniture because there is no way that furniture comes in a plural noun. Uncountable because it is uncountable noun. Their beautiful wooden furniture must have cost a fortune. نتوقف هنا أعزائي المشاهدين أبنائي الطلاب والطالبات لننتقل معكم لفاصل قصير ثم نعود مرة أخرى لنستكمل هذه الحلقة طرق الاستذكار الفعالة معظم المشكلات التي يعاني منها الطلاب في التعليم ترجع إلى جهلهم بطرق الاستذكار الجيد واستخدام عادات استذكار سيئة وإليكم بعض القواعد العامة للاستذكار الفعال قم بتنظيم أوقات الاستذكار واختر المناسب منها لكل مادة اختر الأماكن الهادئة والمعدة للاستذكار عند المذاكرة اقرأ الموضوع قراءة عامة وضع خطا تحت الفقرات المهمة اختبر نفسك في الموضوع الذي قرأت فيه لتتأكد من مدى فهمك المواد التي تحتاج إلى حفظ اختر لها الأوقات المناسبة أعط وقتا أكثر للدروس التي ترى أنها صعبة بالنسبة لك إذا شعرت بالنوم أو الملل فلا تقاوم بل الجأ إلى الراحة لا تذاكر المواد المتشابهة مع بعضها بل ضع فاصلا بينها ولتكن مادة أخرى تذكر أن السهر الكثير متعب لك ولصحتك ويؤثر على الفهم والاستيعاب مع تمنياتنا لكم بالنجاح والتوفيق أعزائي المشاهدين أعزائي طلاب وطالبات الصف الثالث الثانوي أهلا بكم من جديد دعونا نذكركم بأننا نراجع وإياكم منهج اللغة الإنجليزية وسنركز في هذا الجزء على المعدود وغير المعدود والأزمنة للباب الأول ونذكركم بأننا نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم على هاشتاج البرنامج مئة على مئة والآن نبدأ على بركة الله تكملة الأسئلة لازلنا نتكلم عن القواعد والجرامر الكاونتبل والانكاونتبل Exercise C. Choose the correct option. You have to choose. Multiple choice. Sentence one. Does anybody know how many 
how much people there will be at the meeting tonight. How many, I use how many when I ask about countable noun. I use how much when I ask about uncountable noun. So how should I know? I have to look at the word people here. And I have to ask myself, is people countable noun or uncountable noun? People, as we know, is countable now. I can say one person, two people, three people. So I should uh, choose the word how many. How many people there will be at the meeting tonight. Sentence two. Since you don't really have many money or much money, why do you go shopping every week? Many for countable noun much for uncountable noun. I have to look at the word money and I have to ask myself, money, is it countable or uncountable? As we know, money is uncountable, so I have to choose the option B, which is I don't have much money. Sentence three. Let's move to sentence three. I have hardly any, or I have not much coffee cups left. I think I have to buy some. He decided to buy some coffee cups because he has nothing left or maybe he has a few. So he has coffee cups. That's coffee cups is countable. Hardly any means very few, very few. Not much means little, but coffee cups, the noun is countable. Ma'dud, فبالتالي I should use Hardly any, because hardly any means very few. And very few, we use it with countable noun. Coffee cups is countable noun, okay? And not much is used for uncountable, and we cannot use it here. Also, if I want to negate, negate the, the, the sentence, I say, I don't have much. I don't have, not I have not much. So the answer should be A. Hardly any, because coffee cups are, is countable. Sentence four, she said she had plenty of news to tell us, or she said she had a few news to tell us. Plenty of means a lot of, and we use it with, it means a lot. Okay, it means a lot, and we use it with countable nouns or uncountable nouns, un uncountable nouns, okay? A few means something few, and we use it just for countable. So, how to, how, how to decide? I have to look at the word. News. Is news countable or uncountable? As we know, news is uncountable, so I cannot choose few because it comes only with countable, and the answer is, she said she had plenty of news to tell us. Let's move to number five. Do you know where the scissors is or are? Scissors. Scissors, as we know, but what verb does it come with? Singular verb or plural verb? Scissor is accountable, and I can say a pair, two pair, three pairs of scissors. But also, if I talk about a pair of scissors, I use are. Why? Because scissors is, uh, have, it has two parts. Any, any noun that has two parts, it uses the plural verb. For example, glasses, sunglasses, uh, scissors, trousers. It comes with the plural verb because the R is plural. Let's move to number six. Sentence six. With a little or with a few support from my friends, I should be able to get over this crisis. Okay? He, is, he has some crisis. He has some problem. But with support, with the support from his friend, he, can, he, would be, he should be able to go over it, to get over it. Okay. The word support here. I have two options. A little, a few. جميعها معناتها قليل. لكن. A little for uncountable, uncountable, and few comes for countable. And the word support is uncountable noun, uncountable noun. So the answer should be a little. 
with a little support from my friends, I should be able to get over the crisis. Let's move to number seven. We have very few or we have very little information about the missing child. As you know, dear students, the difference between few and little, few for countable, little for uncountable, and I have to look at the word information here. Information is uncountable. So I have to choose little, little information. Number eight, the sentence eight says, all the furniture in this shop are or is on sale. Our plural verb is singular verb. So what should I choose? I have to look at the subject. The subject here is furniture. Furniture is uncountable, uncountable. And it's used as a singular. We use it as a singular. So I have to choose the verb is because uncountable nouns and it's treated as a singular, a singular noun, mufrat. So the answer is B, yes. Now, let's move to another exercise. It is a grammar, but here we are talking about tenses, al-azmina. Let's read the exercise and I will explain to you the tenses. The exercise D says, complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in brackets, okay? When you see the question, you have to understand the question. You have to understand the question to, to get, to be easy to answer the, to do the answer, okay? Complete, just to complete, okay, with what? With the correct form of the verbs. There are verbs given to you, but you have to write this verb in the correct form. Okay? الverb between brackets معطالك بين أقواس here طلب منك use the present simple the present progressive or present perfect simple present perfect progressive so you have four options these verbs must be in these four tenses the first one present simple second one present progressive the third one present perfect simple the fourth one present perfect progressive before we start answering this question let me explain to you the tenses uh, the uses and the form first the present simple what is the present simple I, I have to know what is the form what is the structure present simple as we know it comes in the base form and we use it a lot a lot of things one of them when you are talking about general truths facts daily routine uh, repeated action uh, in the future when we read uh, when we are referring to a schedule or timetable the second one present progressive what is the present progressive what form comes with it verb to be plus the verb ing verb to be am is r plus the verb ing when do we use the present progressive? We use the present progressive uh, a lot of uses. For example, when I'm talking about something happening at the moment, uh, when I'm talking about something temporary situation, and we're talking about future arrangements, okay? The third one, present perfect simple. What is the present perfect simple? In which form it comes with? Present perfect simple, it's uh, the form of the present perfect simple has or have plus the verb three, past participle. It will has, will have, zaid, it's a sarif, thalith. Okay, it has, if it's preceded by a singular noun, it'll have, if it's, if it's preceded by a plural noun. Uh, why do I use the present perfect simple? Usually, when I'm talking about something in the past, but the exact time is not mentioned, okay? This is one of the uses. Or also, when we talk about, when focus on the result of an action. And the last one, Present perfect progressive. What is the present perfect progressive? Three words. Have or has plus been plus verb ing. Has or have been verb ing. When do I use it? To emphasize the duration of an action. That started in the past and still continues up to the present. But we emphasize the duration. Okay. Now let's do the exercise together. Number one, we study all morning because we have a history exam tomorrow. The word, the verb here is study. In which tense should I put it? In which tense should I choose and write it? 
I have to understand the sentence first. Here, we study all morning. When he say the word all morning, he focuses on the duration. What are you doing all the morning? I have been studying because we have history exam tomorrow. So all morning we emphasize the duration of the action, the duration of the uh, time of studying. I use have been studying. Have because the, the, the subject we is plural. We put have, not has been studying. We put the ing. Two. A new shopping center recently opened up in the town center. We are talking about shopping center that opened recently. Recent times mean near the past, but the time is not mentioned. And here, when we know this and we see the word recently, it's a time expression used usually with the present perfect simple. So the answer should be present perfect simple. I put recently open. A new shopping center has. When you are talking about shopping center, this is singular. So I put the verb has recently opened. Has recently opened. The past participle, tasrif the verb open, opened because it's a regular verb. Sentence three. Helena always leaves her clothes everywhere, which drives her mother crazy. Okay, when talking about person. Uh, leave her clothes everywhere, which drives her mother crazy. So her mother doesn't like this, shows, so she is annoyed. When you are talking about annoying action, we usually use present progressive. Also, we can use the present simple when you are talking about general truth, fact, fact about Helena. She always leaves her clothes. Or if we choose to express annoying action, with annoying we use the present present progressive so we have to answer we use always leaves present uh, simple because we are talking about general truth or we use is always leaving present progressive because we're talking about annoying action okay let's move to number four Jonathan work as a sales assistant until he find job he likes. So at the moment, he is working as a sales assistant until he find a job. So we are talking about something happening in, at the moment. So we use uh, present progressive, is working. We use the singular verb is because talking about Jonathan. Five, it's hard to believe that John never hear of Ar uh, Aristotle, a city, okay? It's hard to believe that John never hear. When I see the word never, time expression refers to the present perfect simple. Has, have, tasrif thaf, past participle. So I say it's hard to believe that John has never heard. Has never heard. I used present perfect simple. He has never heard of something. This thing, he doesn't know about it. He has never, but we didn't know. Uh, when? From the past until now, and also the word never. Okay? Let's move to number six. The sentence number six. At the moment, okay, the patient seems very healthy. However, he needs to rest. At the moment, this expression refers to actions happening now. But the, the given word or the given verb here, seem. I cannot say the patient is seeming very healthy. However, he needs to rest. Why? Because seem is a stative verb. Is a stative verb. What are stative verbs? Verbs that doesn't come with ing. ing stative verb base form because it's preceded by patient singular. Sentence seven, this week, the whole family fly to Barcelona for my cousin's wedding. The whole family fly, travel by plane to Barcelona. But when? This week, okay? We are talking about something arranged, future arrangement. Tartibat mustaqbaliya, something that they, they, they are flying to Barcelona. They already... Uh, uh, bought the ticket, they already booked the book accommodation. So when we talk about future arrangement, we use 
the present progressive is flying ترتيبات المستقبلية and we use the verb is because family is a person uh, singular نتوقف هنا أعزائي المشاهدين أبنائي الطلاب والطالبات لننتقل معكم لفاصل قصير ثم نعود مرة أخرى لنستكمل هذه الحلقة مرحبا بكم أعزائي المشاهدين أبناء الطلاب والطالبات مرة أخرى في الجزء الأخير من هذه الحلقة لمادة اللغة الإنجليزية للصف الثالث الثانوي لبرنامج مئة على مئة نستقبل أسئلتكم واستفساراتكم ونجيب عليها في هذا الجزء من الحلقة عن طريق هاشتاج البرنامج مئة على مئة إلى أولى الأسئلة في أحد علق على فقرة ذكرناها في الشرح في الجزء الثاني الفقرة تقول I have Hardly any or not much. We have two options. Hardly any, not much. Coffee cups left. I think I have to buy some. Okay. هو سأل هنا يقول ليش أخذنا أو why did we choose uh, uh, hardly any وليس الخيار not much. It depends when we say about the countable and uncountable. The word the word here is coffee cups. Okay. When we see the word coffee cups, I have to ask myself. Is it countable noun or uncountable noun? Hardly any, it comes with both, countable and uncountable. But not much, when I say not much, the noun that follows the space should be uncountable. But the word here, hard uh, coffee cups. So coffee cups is countable, that's why we chose hardly any. وأيضا في التعليقات أحد السائلين يقول بالنسبة لفقرة السؤال الأخير الفقرة الأولى uh, We are studies قالت في التعليق We are studies الفقرة تقول We study الفعل بين قوسين We study all morning because we have history exam tomorrow أحد المتابعين سأل وأجاب We have we used our studies Your comment is uh, wrong خطأ نستخدم our studies because when we when you look back at uh, the word for all morning here we are focusing on the duration هنا نركز على مدة الحدث بسبب كلمة when you say all morning طوال الصباح when you focus on or we emphasize the duration of an action we have to choose a present perfect simple we cannot use the present simple we use the present simple when we talk about general, general truth or habits or etc. I hope that was clear. Uh, we have another question talking about stative uh, verb. What is a stative verb? Stative verb, uh, the, a verb uh, that doesn't come with ing. Okay, we have two kind of verbs. Stative verb, ver that kind of verb that doesn't come with ing. For example, love, like, etc. A specific group of verbs. And action verbs that comes with ing. And he asks, is the verb think stative or action? The verb think. Here it depends on the meaning. The verb think, it comes as a stative or an action, it depends on the meaning. When the meaning of the verb think means believe, like I believe, I think the weather is nice, here it comes as a stative verb. Here it comes as a stative verb, we cannot add ing. But when the verb think comes uh, with the meaning uh, consider something in your mind something in your mind. I'm thinking I'm thinking of buying a new car here it comes as an action verb so it can be a stative verb or an action verb it depends on the meaning for example I'm thinking of buying a new car this is an action verb I think the weather is nice this is a stative verb I hope that was clear <laughs> في سؤال مر عليه هنا يتكلم عن ال what is the difference between little and a little في درس ال quantifiers اللي هي تحدد ال countable uncountable little 
a little. يتكلم هنا بالتعليقات بالعربي يقول جميعها قليل. Okay, but what is the difference? There is a difference. We use the, the word or the determinator little when we talk about something not much with uh, not an uh, uncountable. Also a little, also not much with uncount. What is the difference between little and uh, little? Little means not much and not enough. When we, do, we use it without the a. Little means not much and not enough. For example, there was little evidence to support his claim. There was evidence, but it was little, not much, and not enough to support his claim. For example, uh, I have little money on me. I have little money on me, so I have to go to the ATM to withdraw money from to get to get cash. So little معناتها قليل وغير كافي. لكن لما نجي a little when we say a little means not much, not much, but enough. Okay, little, not much, and not enough. A little means not much, but enough. For example, there is still a little cake left in the fridge. There is a still, there is still a little cake in the fridge. It is a little, not much, but it's enough for a person. Okay, but it's enough for a person. That was for. Uh, the, the determination or the determination of quantifier. Okay. Okay. قليل ولكن كافي. نعم. احنا معلقين نقول قليل ولكن كافي. A little صحيح. A little قليل ولكن كافي. لكن كلمة little قليل وغير كافي. هذا الفرق بينها. أعتقد نكتفي بهذا القدر من الأسئلة. أعزائي المشاهدين أبنائي الطلاب والطالبات نقول قد وصلنا إلى نهاية هذه الحلقة ونتمنى أن نكون قد وفقنا في الطرح نشكر لكم طيب المتابعة وحسن الاستماع والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته